Are you planning a trip with your family and do you have young kids? Are you not sure what kind of family trip is best suited for you? Look no further, in this video we're gonna cover all the basics and more. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamak and I'm a family doctor based here in the Netherlands and In the spare time we have we love traveling and During our most recent trips we learned a lot about traveling with a kid and in this video I would like to share all these lessons with you guys First of all, let's put things in perspective last November we went to the Algarve in the south of Portugal and um, It was still pretty warm there. So it was lovely we rented a place for 10 days and of also a car which is really handy when you have a child and a lot of stuff with you and from there we did day trips in the surrounding area and uh, we enjoyed a lot and there was a big contrast to our most recent trip last March we went to Greece and and we spent a few days in Athens we did a, we started a road trip to the Peloponnese the Delphi back to Athens we flew to Santorini for five days and then we flew back to Athens and then back to home the next day. So as you can see, there's a, a necessary flight right there. And that brings us to our first step, which is the preparation. So first of all, once you have chosen your destination, make sure that you prepare your whole itinerary day by day and uh, at least the big things you have to schedule. So when possible, you can maybe combine flights or Make sure that you don't travel unnecessary because the less you travel the more time you have for relaxation another important aspect is your your flight itself once you have your destination of course uh, you're planning your flight but make sure that uh, you don't fly too early and not arrive too late because you don't want to miss the sleep of your child and preferably if you can go to a destination that is uh, nearby so that the time difference is not too big in our case, Portugal was one hour, Greece is two hours, so that's still manageable. And we didn't have to uh, change our routines too much. So that was really, really nice. Once you arrive at your destination, you might want to rent a car. Make sure that you look into that also before and that you find a car with a child seat and maybe one or two uh, drivers uh, which are registered. And of course, a car is nice, but not always necessary right away. If you're going to a big city like Athens, make sure that you're staying nearby the hotspots so you don't have to spend too much time in traffic. Well, we were not so far from the hotspot, it was only six kilometers, but even still, it took us almost 30 minutes per, per time to get there. And in a big city, it can really be hectic and the traffic can be really noisy and stressful. So try to avoid that and use maybe public transportation if possible or maybe just your own two feet. Of course, getting the proper accommodation is also really important. We used Airbnb for our travels and uh, our preferences were basically simple. We wanted a place with two bedrooms, with a crib for our child and if possible also a child seat, but that was difficult in, in Greece. But of course your preference might be different, but important is that you know for sure that the place is peaceful and quiet and that you don't have too much traffic uh, especially in Athens we had a noisy place next to a big road so make sure that you do your homework properly and that you don't are you don't find surprises uh, when you arrive all right guys if you like the video so far please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this of course the sleep of your child is really important and there are three possibilities for doing the naps Preferably at home, if possible in a carrier while you're doing your day trip and if really necessary in the car. Of course the quality of the sleep will change dramatically but if necessary you can do a sleep in the car. What we did is we used this cover-up tent, the Darion, to make a, a 
private space for our child so that they didn't have too much stimuli. We brought our books we use for the sleeping ritual and the white noise, which is also helpful. But be aware, even in a Darien, the temperature can be really different than your temperature. So make sure that you ventilate enough. After sleep, eating and digesting is also really important. And if, if possible, you want to do some groceries and cook some meals for yourself so that the food you eat on holidays is, is as much as possible the same as the food you have at home. But of course, sometimes, especially during a road trip, you, do, you don't have so much time. So what happens is you, you will dine out more often, which is, of course, uh, not so budget friendly. But more importantly, it's hard to find a uh, good variety in your meals, especially in Greece, where there was a lot of meat on the menus. It was a bit difficult. So make sure you have enough healthy snacks, fruits, vegetables around to, to give it to your child. And especially also digestion will become more troublesome if you're traveling a lot and you're spending too much time in a car. So that's why we would advise you to take a break after one and a half to two, two hours of driving and take, uh, take a stretch and make sure that your, your child also um, can walk and move a little bit for his digestion. And finally, the activities. We like active holidays, but also for us it was important not to plan too much. We planned around one activity in the morning and sometimes a second optional activity after the nap in the afternoon. But make sure that you don't have to hurry because that takes all the enjoyment out of your holidays. All right, guys, th this was it for our lessons we have learned through our holidays. And um, please let us know, do you have any lessons yourself? Let us know in the comment section below. Hit the like button again and please subscribe for more. And if you like this video, I'm sure you will love this video. This is about the child carrier we used and it's great for all your active holidays. All right, guys, that's it for this one. See you next one.